Hi guys, welcome back once again to another episode of the Alubunaga show and I want to say thank you to everyone for your support and for subscribing and for all the memes and trolls and you know sharing it. Thank you so much. Anyway, today I am so excited with two personalities from Nagaland. Uh, you know, we are from the same field, two amazing artists. One is a rapper, one is an amazing educa music educator plus a performer. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, without much delay, I would like to welcome Moko Koza and Kekre Ringa. Hi guys, thank you so much for saying yes and welcome to my show. We're delighted thank you, to thank be you. here. Yeah, are you excited? Oh, yes. excited. I, I hope you're ner not nervous. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, okay, nope. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Yeah, so uh, we had an amazing, uh, you know, artist last week also and then uh, we're looking forward even this week. So let's go straight. So uh, many people in Nagaland or maybe Northeast or India know you as an artist, but people still don't know you know, who is Moko Koza besides the artist? So maybe we can start from you. Can you like share about your experience, your childhood or how, I mean, your name is, it's not that common Naga name. So how did it come, you know? Can you please share something? Yeah. My name is actually, uh, M M V U dot dot. It's tiny me manu little ma. It's it's pronounced oh, ma. Oh, little. It's very hard to pronounce. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay. My mom used to call me like Moko, Moko. Moko, no? So it, it was like very easy, M O K O. Achha, so achha. I came up with that name. And then the, the, the title is my title. Oh, that's the title. My called. original oh, title. Oh, cool, yeah. awesome. And then, yeah, what about you? Can you share about your personal, your childhood, or, you know? Wow. <laughs> um, well, I think I'm from Mezer, maybe if you don't know that. Mm -hmm. Then, <clears throat> yeah, that, every, everyone knows almost everything about me, I think. Wow. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, uh, well, you guys are done with studies, right? So yes. where did you study and, you know? I did my high school from uh, Shalom School. That was like way back Shalom School days. Yeah. Oh, and then after that, I did my uh, class 1 till class 10. Achha. Mr. Seal, Koima uh, there. Achha, achha, achha. And then okay, okay, okay. right after my class 10, uh, 11 till my master's, I did uh, my college from Science College. Koima Ooh, Science class, yeah. Awesome, Science College, yeah? yeah. yeah. Oh, science students. <laughs> Um, a product of Mezer, like I said, mm -hmm. did my degree in arts okay. from Sazali, a degree in music from the Bangalore Conservatory. Wow, awesome. So, uh, if I ask both of you to describe yourself in three words, how would you describe yourself? You want to go first? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Blessed, mm -hmm. uh, growing, mm -hmm. uh, boho. Awesome. Uh, for me, I'll say I'm a geek, like huge movie lover movie geek and achha, achha, achha. then hard working mm -hmm. but at the same time i love to sleep a lot <laughs> oh, wow. so now let's talk about music yeah. uh, since three of us were musician uh, so how did you come into music you know you, you said you were doing science you know yeah. and then you started doing music mm -hmm. full time right now right mm -hmm. and you how, how did you guys like come into music you know what made you take this decision you know when I never knew that music would be a profession or we could mm -hmm. make a living out of it. Mm -hmm. But watching local singers on TV, you know, while growing up, always influenced me. So I just always wanted to be a singer. Wow. Yeah, irrespective of uh, some of the hindrances that were there growing mm -hmm. up, people asking how I'm going to make a living out of it. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I think if you're meant to do it, mm -hmm. yeah, I think it just comes your way. Wow. Yeah. For me, uh, like it, it was there since like while growing up, Music sing that punk era, right? Yes, so yes, that yes. was the time. Simple mm -hmm. plan, can only I was hooked up to like the music, you know, Okay. Na, oh. aste, aste, uh, Eminem, Eminem was yeah, making yeah. a huge wave. <coughs> mm -hmm. to, I got hooked up to like hip hop, you know, you fell in love with the genre, mm -hmm. na, you found your direction, like, uh, you could rap. Yeah. Aste, aste. Wow, nice, nice. See, I mean, uh, I, I can understand, uh, you know, life being a musician in Nagaland. So uh, even me, I had my own share of struggles. So I'm sure you have your own str struggles and not only struggles, like uh, it's so tough to let un people understand because like, to be honest, there were very less people mm -hmm. doing, you know, full time yeah. musician or doing good in music, you know. So how did you cope up with like society, family, uncle, auntie, yeah. you know, music, you know, how, I'm sure you yeah. came across. Yeah. So uh -huh. how, uh, how did you, you know, cope up with that? For me, like uh, my family from like 
way back they were very supportive mm. like mm-hmm. i used to like rap they got used to that okay, okay all okay, those okay. rapping stuff <coughs> uh-huh. uh, even though while i was doing my college and everything uh i didn't stray away mm. I, i was on path so achha, like achha, achha. Uh, at the same time i was rapping so my mom my even my dad mm-hmm. th- they supported me a lot and they knew that mo- maybe music they interest us again and sometimes i would go and perform and tami video san dikina so I, i think through that everything na tami like they oh, never wow. stopped me from what i wanted to oh, do. Cha, cha, yeah. cha, cha. um well i wish i had a you know vocal teacher mm-hmm. like till 2010 i didn't have one but mm-hmm. after that after getting into a conservatory you know things started getting falling into place mm-hmm. and uh, at first my parents i think like a lot of our parents the government job thing yeah, yeah. So true. but mm-hmm. once they started uh, seeing me perform in church they saw mm-hmm. the passion and uh, when they started uh, supporting me i kind of stopped worrying about what the other people felt mm-hmm. so it was just the support that yeah, okay, got okay, me yeah. this far. i mean family plays a big role you know mm-hmm. like i think three of us were really blessed in the sense our parents were supportive you yes, know yes. and well, i really like something you said about like the balance mm-hmm. between the music and the studies because even our parents would never support us if we were just doing to be honest yeah, music yeah. and they were neglecting our studies yeah. right yeah. so i mean we want to encourage all the young people i mean Yes, music can be a career. It's a passion, but then we don't want you to neglect your studies also, you know, or maybe what you're doing because um today Moko can write or Kekre can write lyrics or music because education mm-hmm. is helping you also, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But many people they think like ah, it's a kakus na purile bhi hobo, you know. Mm-hmm. So we want to encourage everyone, you know, you need to know how to balance whatever you're doing. Now, let's go back uh with since you are a hip hop artist, I want to share something. Um uh, the scene Like hip hop, to be honest, like there was a time when Eminem and all yeah. it was big, and then suddenly in our area, hip hop was it went down once, mm-hmm. and then I uh, I should give credit to the Gully Boy also, you yeah, know, like yeah, yeah. in India also the hip hop culture started growing, and notice you guys are like now coming up, being the pioneer right now. So how, what is the scene at the moment about hip hop? You know, like right now, like the scene is like. It's in good hands. Awesome. It's in good hands. Okay. Kina ko man nijor ina scene na thagam de. We shouldn't stop. We should Achha, Achha, Achha. keep on working now. <laughs> okay, okay. Not elevate the scene mm-hmm. even more further na. Okay. okay, okay. Right now the scene is in very good hands. Awesome. Yeah. You don't rap, right? No, yeah. no. Okay. My gosh, no. Who <laughs> wouldn't dare? Uh, speaking of hip hop, uh, I mean, I was so happy. Like uh, Genie from Mizoram yeah. came up with Kwan, right? Yeah, King yeah. of Nortis, and then. <laughs> You did Aladdin, yeah, right? Yeah. This track, mm. and then one uh, the my previous guest JP mm-hmm. did a, yeah. this on and you know, on, yeah. you know it's, it's so interesting. Mm. So what do you say about this thing, the culture that this mm. the, you know this like like Abni Kwan said that man enjoy Grishy. Acha acha acha. It was more like a sport. Yeah yeah. Like, uh-huh, uh-huh. So professionally we. Only Bia na pa yun ekshine kung 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 I talk about your family matters yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty private. That's different. Private, that's They different, like, bahar de do guns very shoot kuri na. True. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. But uh, if we look at the bright side, okay. the good side of it, this is a very good sport for okay. rap. Not, it brings out the best in a rapper, mm-hmm. like writing skills especially. Okay, okay. Na. okay. Na. Like melody kan ko na lage. It's all about like the craftsmanship. Yes, 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 yes. So, yes. so, so you'll encourage yeah, youngsters. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. If you're a rapper, like. It it took a while. Yes, you know? true. Yeah. Man. I mean, I I am respect man to yeah. all the rapper and all the way you guys write the lyrics and all. You know, like the rhythm. And, mm-hmm. Oh my God, it's like out of the world. Okay, now uh, Kekre, do you think we can make career out of music or as a rapper also? I mean, at the moment, what do you think? Yes, we can. I've been teaching for 10 years, mm-hmm. and by God's grace, I have never been broke. Mm-hmm. And wow. uh, I kind of believe that if you. Uh, Like I always say this if you filter your art mm-hmm. master your art okay. then success will just follow you. Wow, awesome. And I think you're also a living example how music can be a career. <laughs> thank you, thank you. What about you bro? Yeah. Uh for me like very honestly speaking like it's a 
like mm. being a rapper, a rapper, you rapper, need yeah. to like a lot to work hard, work hardcore like that. Like mm. sindolo, mm. elevate with nalo, exposure na. Mm-hmm. Because only through rapping, like uh, without doing nothing, mm-hmm. it's just music, music achha, achha, achha. Okay, okay, okay. It's it's a little tough it'll be na. Achha, achha, achha. A lot to give like, the okay, scene okay, is okay. to get more exposure. Na. But just I mean to just to encourage the yeah. rapper, what I see, I mean, fr- it's like after the gully mm. boy thing, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. like the the. Especially the Bombay mm-hmm. started, you know, the Gali, mm-hmm. all this, you know, uh, the culture started. Yeah, yeah. And then now I see a lot of good artists mm-hmm. coming out, right? Yeah, like yeah. before was all this, you know, oh, yeah. yo-yo and everything. But then Divine and all this, you mm-hmm. know, these guys came up. And then I I see even in Nagaland, mm-hmm. you know, like mm-hmm. Hindi rapper mm-hmm. and all. There were so, so many good artists coming up and all. And then uh, speaking of those artists, I'll, I'll just be honest. Yeah, yeah. So uh, since I'm, I'm also an event uh, you know, I work in an event company. So before I used to like ask the rate, right? And you will festival kind Kiman gulido, two lakh, three lakhs. Itiado, you know, ajikali the kiman gulido, twenty five lakhs, thirty lakhs. Just in two years yeah, again, yeah. rate to inyo tuja jito. My God, I was like, wow. No, I mean, I mean that's an encouraging thing, right? Yes, so yes, yes. yeah, I, I I want to encourage all the hip hop artists, the rappers, you know, you know, you can do it. Anyway, um, now. Kekre, do you agree with the term that the audience creates the artist? Mm, I've had a couple of artists, mm-hmm. upcoming artists, mm-hmm. say that to me. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, I'm going to mention God's name again. Okay. Your talent is from God. Mm-hmm. So you create your artist. Because if the artist starts to create you, you just become, turn into a mere entertainer. Mm-hmm. They tell you to go left, you go left, tell you to sing in Italian, German. You just force yourself, you know, okay. become... Uh, just a puppet, I think I would say that. Mm-hmm. But if you're authentic, you okay. create your own audience. No matter how limited it might be, they stay genuine and true to you. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the, the artist creates the audience. That's what I feel Okay, personally. the artist creates the audience. Yeah. You believe that? Yeah. yeah. No? Even same thing, like, I'll uh, just add up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mommy, per- like, perform grandly. Uh, I, don't, I don't perform what the crowd wants. Mm-hmm. I yes. perform to the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Something awesome. like that. Na? That's, that's yeah. Yeah. deep, yeah. Cool. Okay. Now let's talk. About, since we're talking about music and then Nagaland, I think we are the only state in India, or maybe I don't know about the world also mm-hmm. in a yeah. government mm-hmm. ministry. How the music? Now we are so blessed in a way that uh, our government has a s- separate department or you know section for us. Yeah. So now uh, speaking of that, Tafma, you know. So do you think uh, Tafma is doing enough for the music industry? At the, or maybe the music musicians or mu- our music community, or do you think they can do more? And do you have any suggestions or you know anything that you think Tafma can take up to improve our industry? Uh, yeah, anyone can take. For me, like uh, Tafma, they're re- really doing a very good job. Like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Kiki can uh, promote create through oh, yeah. various means mm-hmm. and bringing like resource person from outside true, the true, state true. in mm-hmm. very very good and like uh, one thing we are malasai well, like, suggest growing other like uh, reach out to more even talented artists there mm-hmm. is still lots to discover <coughs> true, true, true. still lots of talented uh, singers and musicians okay, right? okay. Yeah. cool 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 yeah. most of the points I wanted to say Moko That's mentioned it, yeah. but I think um, we shouldn't be just dependent on them as well. Mm-hmm. We have access to you know, a lot of platforms now, mm-hmm. social media for a start. Mm-hmm. And we need to be on a common ground with them. Communication, mm-hmm. not that's AFMA that's and that. the artist, any okay, form okay, of yeah. artist. And maybe a suggestion, I think they can uh, have more workshops in schools and colleges that's to true. encourage music, like mm-hmm. curriculum mm-hmm. if it's introduced in schools and colleges. I think that would wow. be more schools and colleges. Cool, yeah, cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. I hope Sir Teja is, you know, Sir Hovital, <laughs> you're watching this and such a, I mean, good suggestions. Anyway, I'm, I'm sure that they, they will take a look into this. Now, uh, it's totally off topic now. Let's move away from music. <laughs> so, uh, I know Kekre that you're a dog lover. You have... Your what's what's her name? Uh, his name? Kenibu. Kenibu. Okay, <laughs> like she has a dog and it's like her baby. And we all know the dog. And I'm sure you yeah. are also dog lover. I heard like that, right? Yeah. And even me. I mean, I have like four dogs. I love my dogs. Now coming back, we as a Naga, uh, there are a lot of news in the social media and the outsiders, like coming dictating on our food oh, habit yeah. and uh, whether we like it or not, Nagas. Uh, it, Eating dog has been part of our culture, mm-hmm. so our forefathers, you know. Yeah, yes. So right now, what do you say about that? You know, like okay, fine. 
we love dogs, we don't eat dogs. There are a lot of Nagas, we know that, who don't do that. But still, there are people who believe and that, um, that it's a medicine. Okay. You can, you know, they, they have that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> a, uh, <laughs> soup, <laughs> pellet, bimar, yeah, yeah. But, but, okay, fine. That has been part of a culture, right? So what do you say about that? Do you think, like, we should be like, because mm -hmm. even the government, and we're getting pressure, even, to be honest, Manika Gandhi mm -hmm. recently made a video, and then, uh, we are always in the bad picture, you know, Nagas, oh, Nikasi, Nikasi. So what do you say about that, being a dog lover? Yeah. Um, well, a lot of dog parents are going to hate me for this, but I don't think we have the right to dictate someone's food habits, mm -hmm. irrespective of how much, you know, emotional attachments we have to our pets. And uh, be, be it dogs or even cows, I'm sorry, or any, any animals <laughs> for mm -hmm. that matter. But maybe uh, we shouldn't, uh, you know, three things that I can um, request from everyone who aren't as enthusiastic as us, you know, when it comes to dogs. Mm -hmm. Don't steal, mm -hmm. don't do the shooting around of dogs, yeah. you know, especially during the pandemic. True, and true. Uh, let's not make fun of dog parents who are grieving the loss of their pets. Mm -hmm. Like there's not, nothing funny about a grieving parent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Maybe uh, just recently I lost my dog. Wow, so I'm so sorry. Nine years, nine years old. Oh my so, God. Like, like through all these years, emotional attachment, I guess. It was yeah. so sad to like, True, 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 yeah. So for, for me, um, maybe I don't take dog meat. Mm -hmm. maybe we have lots of people, friends who yeah, take yeah. dog. dog. Yeah. That's, that's something I cannot stop him mm -hmm. or her. Mm -hmm. So uh, like eat what you want to eat. So mm -hmm. Even last year I did uh, an interview with uh, the print. The print. So Tami that related topic to Anasya. So Tami mula, they came to the studio and uh, to mm -hmm. like, what's your opinion? Because right now Nagaland is going through a lot of controversies about the dog meat. Yeah, stuff, yeah. So, you know, mm -hmm. the, Maybe my opinion is like the same thing I'm mm -hmm. saying right now. Mm -hmm. I don't have like any authority to tell you to not take dog, dog yeah. meat. Mm -hmm. If if you want to have it, that's that's your uh, motto. That's your rule. Nah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can't tell you to like if yeah. Jeffrey doesn't uh, take dog meat, yeah. I can't tell you to like mm -hmm. nakhavi, yeah, yeah. Nakhavi, those, like yes. chicken nakhavi, pork yeah. nakhavi. Oh my gosh, nakhavi. I have chicken. No, yeah, I mean, that's I think we. Thing. I mean, even uh, the dog. I mean, for us, like the lo lovers or the parents, you mm, know, yeah. we should also understand Very that, great. you know, uh, just because I love it, I can't force somebody mm -hmm. to love it yes, also yes, again, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, just because I love Ahoni, I can't force you to love Ahoni <laughs> also, <laughs> you know, like yeah. something like that. And I mean, th there's so much issue about the beef also, mm -hmm. it's going on yeah. in India also, you know, dictating on like, you should eat this, you should not eat that. I think uh, we are all sensible people. We are all, you know, mm -hmm. I think people, you know, be yourself. Okay, so I think we're done with serious questions and my show is not about serious issues. So I want you to relax and we'll go with the fun segment, tell okay? Tell so, okay, so just take a deep breath and I want you to be honest if you can, be candid, okay? So I'm gonna ask, you know, turn by turn, maybe we'll start with the lady here. So I'm sure you're not also not new to rumors in Nagaland, right? So I'm sure you had a lot of rumors about Kekre Ringa. So is there any rumor that is a lie and you want to clarify today? Okay. Uh, I haven't heard so much because maybe I don't care. <laughs> but uh, a lot of people can assume, assume or say that I look very unapproachable. So I'm not unapproachable. Just talk to me. Okay. Okay. Guys, she's no. approachable. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay moving, moving to Moko. Uh, Kali Rati. Uh -huh. Last kung yung kotha ko yun humay siya. Kagreti mulama ko guri siya. Acha. Last. Yep. Acha. Ko guri na gumay niya. Ah, so sweet man, mama's boy man. Okay. I don't know how far that's true, but uh, yeah, I'll believe you. Mama's boy. Okay, good. So Kikre, uh, what do you stay away from or try to stay away from? Drama. Drama. Yes. Okay. On TV is fine. Okay. Off screen, no. And people who entertains drama. Okay. No. Uh, so Moko, a naga celebrity or personality you wanna go on a date with? We have a very beautiful lady sitting right next. Okay, playing smart, yeah. playing smart. Yeah. Yeah. Safe. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kikre, uh, what is one thing you have tried that you'll never do again? Vodka shots. Vodka. Yes. Okay. So you didn't have a good experience, huh? I lost my voice. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Achha, uh, what is the best advice you've received so far today, till today? Uh, like. Don't like even though you fall fall back down, Achha. don't ever give up because like there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, yeah, okay, that's okay. that's one of the best. Uh, let me go here once. Uh, since you're a rapper, yeah. many rapper 
they use all this cuss word, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. F word, mm -hmm. is, it, is it necessary? Is it compulsory? One then. And then, uh, in a little, like, suppose there are some places you can't even perform, like mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. way, church, mm -hmm. way. so what do you deal with them? It's uh, like, uh, like, thank you for asking that question okay. because we have a lot of common things. Like, uh, usually, uh, us rapper from, like, rappers from it was Nagaland we get okay. influence from like the Western countries. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. yeah. sometimes so we we want to act like them, like mm -hmm. our like idol. Mm -hmm. we, when we actually look into it, like it would do Achha, so it's okay. completely different out here. Na? Mm -hmm. So for me personally, uh, maybe whenever I rap, I, I write my lyrics, mm -hmm. sometimes I use F word yeah. or like B word, whatever. Even maybe, the song yeah. you released yeah. last week. Yeah. So <laughs> that is for me that is like form of Expression, oh, like, okay. Okay. Uh, for example, Kekre is sleeping. Mm -hmm. Kekre, Kekre TV will do not do something. Kekre TV, all of the rock will do that. Yes. Expression, yes. the form of expression. So okay. it's an art for me. Achha. So usually, like uh, whenever I perform, like church day, perform, church day perform Kekre. So whenever Achha. church day perform, I'm very selective about my song. Okay. No F word. Or sometimes Achha. if there's an F word, I just mute myself. Achha. You know, not. Uh. Okay. Instead of the F word, I use mess. Something okay. Like okay. That. Cool. 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 So, in this society, I mean, man, man, society to like uh, born and brought up from a Christian family, you know. We see sometimes the Orthodox people say, yeah, yeah. We, uh, like, cast cast creates a lot of uh, normal conversation. Though I don't like, Achha, you don't go south, you sometimes quit that normal conversation. It'll work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ghana, when yeah. it comes to Ghana, like, uh, I use that as a form of expression. So mm -hmm. I don't think like exchange uh, again judge na kore lebal na. Acha. Acha. I mean, it do topic thelo bamba jazuli. The rapper can do bro bling bling. Yeah, lo yana. I mean, inya all like rapper lebal. I think a rapper it doesn't have to be like that. Like acha acha. Simple dress kore if you can rap uh -huh. like manuvi it way side do. Okay. It way side do. So the kapra ambra do noi na. Kapra like just be yourself. Like achha, achha. if you're a rapper like. Uh, Slim to like, if you can rap, that's good enough. Uh -huh. Wait, sometimes some some people turn baggy jeans like it was. Yeah, yeah. want to love Kushi, but personality mm -hmm. it was a lot like that. So it doesn't mean that everybody's so wonderful. That's it. That's it. Loose, loose, slow, like that. Cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I hope. Siki <laughs> Siki. <laughs> Kikri, what is your guilty pleasure? Wine. Occasional wine. Wine. Yes. Okay. Uh, describe yourself in a hashtag. Hashtag geek. <laughs> oh, check. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, three things you do before sleep. Ah, check my phone for the mm -hmm. last time. Mm -hmm. Kiss my dog goodnight and pray. Okay. Um, one hidden talent. Uh, I I can sleep for like almost 20, 23 hours. Oh my god. Yeah. For <laughs> one hour to three. I can so be proud of that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you single? Yes. <laughs> okay. Any any cry? Oh my gosh. Um, on social media, sometimes you just go through and see you, some good-looking people. You want to name people. anybody? Uh, any no, no. Okay. Uh, so, what is the definition of a husband material or perfect husband, according to you? Ah, thanks for asking that. I have uh, seen these two terms. Okay, husband material, wife material, mm -hmm. uh, put up on social media most of the mm -hmm. time, and everyone has their own idea about it. Yeah. But I think we need to stop limiting these two terms to. You know, a lady who can cook, wife material, husband mm -hmm. who is making five, six figures, husband, I mean, a, a man mm -hmm. who is making five, six figures, husband mm -hmm. material. Uh, it's very limited, you know, very orthodox. Uh, maybe in short, someone who is loyal mm -hmm. and yeah. who respects the other, his or her partner's profession. Okay. I think that's just marriage material wow. for anyone. Yeah. Woo. Are you single? I'm in a relationship with my Lord and personal servant, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Aram say, if smile you say, you say Aram say. Hey Nina, acha. So acha, abni bi okay fine. What is your definition of a perfect girl or a wife like material? Uh, for Nina, me, or what like, kind of yeah. girl are you looking at if you're looking? For, for me, I, uh, I I like like simple attitude thega. Acha, and acha. someone whom I can trust. Like okay. wherever she go, ko de jaliwe. I don't have to like. Oh. Mm -hmm. Be worried, nah. Okay. So that, that's like okay. Straight up. So, girls and boys, if you are listening and you like these people, you know what to do. Okay. So now we're going to the next very famous segment of my show called Never Have I Ever. Okay. So you just have to say yes. Yes. No. No. Yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this question is for both of you. Okay. You just have to say. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Never have I ever sent someone a naughty pic. Yes. 
Yes. Okay. Have, never have I ever received or given a lap dance. No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> never have I ever had a friend with benefits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Never have I ever been skinny dipping. Lentang na pani swimming ground. Nope. Can't swim. Okay. No. Never have I ever been caught looking at something naughty. Saatam ni mano ina dika. Nope. No. No. Okay. Uh, never have I ever sexed. Oh, Mm, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, never have I ever watched a porn. I'm sure it's yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, the Lord knew it's good. Yes. Okay. Never. <laughs> never have I ever taken a shower selfie. Uh, yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yes, cool. Uh, never have I ever date a fan. No. Fan. No. Okay. Never have I ever been turned down by somebody yes. I like. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. Hurt us. <laughs> Never have I ever dated more than one person at once. No. No. Okay. Very loyal people. Never have I ever hooked up with someone I met online. Yes. Online. No. Okay. Thanks for being honest. Never have I ever spied on an ex online. Mm, yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Just talking. We all do that. Yes. Never have I ever drunk dialed an ex. Yes. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> okay. Okay, last one. Never have I ever lied about being single because I wasn't interested in the person. Uh, no. No. Okay, cool. Okay, thank you so much for being sport and for being so candid and rapid fire. It took you quite a while. Now, moving to the next segment is very easy. Okay, you just have to <clears throat> say the name. The first name that comes in your mind when I say the word celebrity in Nagaland. Hello. Lobo. Ish. <laughs> Thank you, Aram Sir. Okay. Okay. The best rapper from North is. In rapper's mentality, I like to think that I'm the best. Awesome. Uh-huh. You? Not because I know him, mm-hmm. Moko. Okay. Yeah. yeah I mean, I, I'll, I'll just be honest. You're one of my favorite, also. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I, I love the way you write. It's like, and then uh, another thing I like about you is like, uh, many people try to be foreigner, try to be mm-hmm. westernized. But you put your own angami accent and you rap, and I love that you put your own local, you know, like, and, and that I think that is original for me. So yeah, thank you. yeah, thank, thank you. you. Uh, name three best upcoming artists from Nagaland. Tamsi Clover. One. Abdon. Ah, oh, and one more, one more. Who else? Who can I think of? Okay, you can it be a DJ? Yeah. Sorry. DJ, DJ okay. Sarah, you have to me. Mm. Sarah. Yeah, wow. she's on the way. Yeah. Uh, Senti and Hopong. Okay, yes. Yeah, Hopong, I uh, love those kids. And yeah, Tim Tim Sukla. Okay, okay. And uh, Akrole Keo or something. Yes, like that. it's a wow. Really she good. is really like yeah. bomb and if, yeah, voice, people should people beats. should listen to yeah. her. Okay, now a musician that can become a good politician. I'm <laughs> lobo. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Man, you guys like Mula Shoda Taylor, Manola Nami Kovina Pastor. Musician that can become a good pastor. I'll pass it to Kekri. Okay. okay. Say it. Say it. Oh, say it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Social worker. Social worker. Uh, Asali. Asali. Pesi. Asali. 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 Really? Pesi. Oh, yeah. 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 I think okay. Good. Stand-up comedian. Uh, only musicians. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I have something. Can't think of okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm, yeah. Stripper. <laughs> <laughs> can you send your story? Okay. Can you send your story? Okay. Do so you have anyone? Yeah, she's our friend, so yeah. yeah. Can you? Wow. I mean, Kenny, you if you're Kenny. watching, yeah. <laughs> she won't mind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Next time I invite her on my show, I'll put a poll. And yeah. <laughs> okay. Next is the last segment, and it's very easy. It's called Kill Mary Hookup. Okay. So uh, let's start with uh, Kekre. I'll give you three names. Kil Mary Hoka, Nise Meruno, Sinab Lemter, and Clement Imsong. Oh, wow. Okay. Nise is my cousin, so, uh, okay, hook up. <laughs> I'll, hook up with Nise. I'm just kidding. I'll kill him. Nise is my brother, so he'll understand. Okay. Nise uh, is dead. <laughs> Clement, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hook up with him. Okay. Sinab, I'll marry him. Okay, Probably cool, cool. Him Let's go back to you. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> Fine. Uh, Aloza, Zaza. Aloza, yeah. Eva Jamir, mm-hmm. Tumsi Clover. Shit. <laughs> Acha, uh, I'll hook up with Aloza. Okay. Uh, Mary Temsula. Okay. And Eva. Okay, you're <laughs> so bold, man. Like, 
the boyfriend is like in the camera and you want to hook up with the <laughs> girls. <laughs> We're like very anyway, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much for you know accepting and thank you for being so honest. Okay. I hope you had a good time and yes, I want to wish all of you, both of you, you know, best in whatever you're doing and especially for all the you know hip hop community. Mm. I wish the best time is you know yet to thank come you. and then it comes soon. And then Kekre and uh, for those who don't know Kekre is also working in our school Musica. We're working together. She's the administrator. And yeah, all the best and we'll yeah. be seeing you often. Yeah, all the best and then hopefully we can do collaboration very soon yeah. also. No? And yes, uh Mokoin we did before also mm -hmm. and Kekre I think we haven't done yet, Not right? Yet. So we'll do that. Anyway, thank you so much. You have any pledge, anything to say before we go to your fans and our audience? Yeah. Uh, first off, thank you for having us. And right after this in interview, Amu <laughs> Alobo, he bought some Apkuni Sabji to Wow. Yeah. Well, Lobo, thank you so much for having us here. Mm -hmm. uh, Welcome. Not just saying that because you know you brought us here, but it means a lot to us. And mm -hmm. uh, well, to the audience, be be authentic. Yeah, that's all I can say. <laughs> thank you so yeah. much. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so we've come to the end of our program. And thank you so much for your support. And keep supporting. And make sure that you support this amazing artist. And there are a lot of amazing artists from Nagaland. And then I will be revealing and then bringing, you know, many of them one by one. So you get to know them. And then you can get to know their work and get to know their stories. So thank you so much once again. And uh, we hope we will see you next week. Be there. God bless. Oof, thank you so much.